Yeah, there's a weird guy. Let's go to the slum market. It's so beautiful, everything is just recreated. I know this is a PSP game, but I wish I could look up to show you guys like the, the church, but yeah, everything looks so, so good. And I can't imagine how it's gonna look in Remake next month. This is an official notification of the change in status of the following personnel. Zard did 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 dinosaur director of soldier killed in action. Hollander science department killed in action. Well, that clearly can't be true for both, right? The Zard just went missing, and Hollander we saw him get taken away by flying angel fairies that look like Dennis's. So they have to both be alive. I didn't expect the Zard to have anything to do with this, you know? Anyways. The market, which is through this gate, right? Is there anything new at the park? <coughs> Excuse me. I really want to beat this game today. I really want to start 7 again. Like, you have no idea how bad I've been itching to play 7 again. Oh hey, it's a Sephiroth fan club lady. Fan club members will soon be receiving exclusive rare photos of Sephiroth. Isn't it exciting? I can't, I can't want to see them. I can't want to see them. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, me, me, I can't want to see them either. It's all thanks to the chairwoman. She must be really close with Sephiroth. <sighs> I wish I could be that close to him. Oh, we got new mail. Did we? I can't want to read it. <laughs> Sephiroth is known to value his private life, but there was a time when he had two best friends, Genesis and Angel. We'd like to share a story of this threesome guaranteed to raise a smile. The soldier trio, who would use the training room exclusively as their playground, but in order to retain their first class dignity, they would sneak in only after the second class members had gone home. Then they would <laughs> Sorry, I'm running off of like no sleep, I'm sorry. I woke up really early just to play this. They would sneak in only after the second members had gone home. Then they would proceed to have one of the three stand with a dumb apple on his head. Menorah dumb apples. While the other two would throw their sword at the apple to pierce it. Sephiroth always won. His Masamune always striking every dumb apple dead center. I wonder if they're gonna call them dumb apples in remake. They did reference them in the uh, in the demo though, which is pretty awesome. Uh, hey, you're the girl from Market, right? No, you're the, oh yeah, they're Don Corneo's niece. <laughs> Uncle lives in a shiny house. His job is a Don. He's nice to girls and he's good looking. Ha. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the biggest lie ever. He has a funny way of laughing too. Yeah, that's the Don's niece. Don Corneo. Perverted Dawn in Wall Market. Alright, so we're here for wood, and there's someone that sells it. I think he's over here, if I remember right. Oh, he's not even here. Hey, we might be able to use this wood for the wagon. Leave it. I got it. Where's the owner? I don't want to just take it. Anything from gifts, oh yeah, anything from gifts of for your loved ones to everyday use items. If you need accessories, get them here. Uh. Uh, that dumb delivery service. There's some material missing again. They must have dropped from somewhere. Oh, say friend, you look like a fast runner. I'm not really that fast. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Oh, alright then, feel free to look around. 
Yeah, there's a guy that owns the the wood area here. I don't want to just take it. That's rude. You know, Zach has pride and dignity. He's not angry and emo like Cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I just have to take it. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. Uh, but he's not here. just became friends with a traveler who came from Calm, and that's what he told me. He says he's traveled all over the world, but he's never seen so many monsters anywhere else. Who could, he, who could she be talking about? You can ride the train. I know this. I know this. Alright, I'm just gonna take it. I'm probably gonna get in trouble. What do you think you're doing? This was just lying around. Is it yours? It was not just lying around. I put it there. Who are you? What do you want? I mean, clearly would. Well... Mmm. A flower wagon for a girl named Aerith, I see. I'm a carpenter living in the Sector 7 slums. I'm here in Sector 5 to buy some materials. I can give you some of my wood. Really? That would be great. I love wood. But on one condition. I'm building a, er, a bar in the Sector 7 slums. Is, is this going where I think it's going? No. 7th Heaven? I want you to come up with a name for it. A name for the bar? Is it really 7th Heaven? Mm-hmm. A name would give me a visual image to work off of. I've been racking my brain for some time, but I can't seem to come up with any hip, anything hip. That's easy. <laughs> Let's look at the options. The Happy Turtle. <laughs> Bar del Sol. Of course, that's. I think this is this is literally what it is. Seventh Heaven. Startlet. In tribute to the stars at night. I got nothing. All right, Seventh Heaven. That's that's what the bar is called, really, in Final Fantasy VII. Seventh Heaven. A piece of paradise in Sector Seven. Seventh heaven. Hmm, it's simple, and it's a nice concept. Yes, I can picture it. Maybe there'll be a young girl tending the bar. <laughs> what is this? Game? There's so many references. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to go back to seven. I'm just, gosh, I'm foaming at the mouth. That sounds good. Yes, yes, with a big bo- Oh, God. A big bosom and long legs. Just a killer figure. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. Oh, don't encourage it, Zach. And underneath the bar is a secret room. An underground hideout. Now that's the perfect slums bar. It would make the perfect base for an anti shin <laughs> This is This is a nice reference. I like it. Uh, I kind of work for Shinra. Soldier, in fact. Uh, uh, anyway, I like the name. I'm getting all sorts of visuals from it. Thanks, sport. I'll give you some of my wood as promised. Old lumber, nice. Nice work, soldier guy. You found some wood. I knew it was somewhere in the market, but I couldn't remember exactly where. Looks like we're getting there. Looks like tires are next. Where can we find tires? Tires, wheels, cars. Oh, yeah, of course. That car. Hey, don't just run off like that. That car. In Loveless? Loveless Avenue? What car? Was there a car anywhere? Loveless Avenue. There was a guy bragging about his, his, his truck. Maybe that's the only car I remember. Unless he's talking about the one in uh, 
the Shinra lobby, which we clearly can't take. That would break cannon. Yeah, look how gorgeous this looks, dude. I, I'm not like a graphics junkie. I'll play games that look. I played. <laughs> I've played some games. Let's just say that. But this is just. It's really nice seeing Midgar in somewhat HD, you know. Zach, where are you? Have you heard that Director Lazard passed away? You're such a good man. May he rest in peace. I wonder what's going to become of Soldier's chain of command. I'm actually a little worried about the future. Who do you think I should follow? I think you, with your sunny dis dip dip uh, disposition, <laughs> would be the man to look up for, to for leadership in these uncertain times. I'm following you till the end, Zach. Yeah, I think Zach is pretty awesome. He's grown on me pretty fast. Those copies Hollander made that attacked Shinra. Did you know that Director Lazard financed Hollander with money he embezzled from the company? It seems revenge against the company was the motivation for both of them. I, I can understand Hollander wanting revenge, but why would Lazard? He climbed up the ladder while he was still young, and he he was always a decent guy. What could What could he have against the company? I do remember him writing about ill blood in one of his mails. Speaking of climbing up, the president's son already made vice president. Well, yeah, Reeves. You think Lazard was after the VP's chair? The references are really nice. They're really nice. Once we play Final Fantasy VII, you'll see. You'll see. Hopefully we could start it tomorrow. If I could beat this game today, then 100%. I'll start Final Fantasy 7 tomorrow. I'm playing the PS4 version as well. So, get a nice few features. And it'll be my fifth playthrough of Final Fantasy 7. But it's been so long since I've beaten it, so... It'll feel fresh. It'll feel really fresh, and I'm, I'm very excited. I haven't been this excited. It's It's insane. It seems that soldier director, Lazard, who was recently reported as killed in action, simply vanished instead. Sources say Lazard has been embezzled, embezzling company money to fund Hollander's attack on Shinra. It is also believed that Hollander, who was held captive in Junin, has fled with Lazard's aid. An investigation has revealed that both men have held feel ill feelings towards Shinra. This comes as a great shock to the parties involved, as members of Soldier have had the utmost confidence in Lazard. Yeah, it's weird because Shinra's bad, right? But, you know, Genesis is bad. Hollander is bad. It's, 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 it's interesting. You don't really, there's not really a good side you're fighting on yet. The gift of the goddess, the source of life, is said to bring immortality. The most widely accepted theory equates the gift of the goddess to the Benora White. There is, however, another theory which advocates that it is the planet, not any human, that becomes immortal. This suggests two other interpretations of the gift. One is an all-consuming destruction. The other is an all-healing salvation. Genesis believed in the latter, predicting some sort of salvation from the gift of the goddess. Dude, I'm going to be reading a lot in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. I still haven't found all the... All the Wutai secret people. Going dressed in full Shinra garb. Man, just taking the Shinra building. Yeah, I would assume he's in the slums. But we're gonna go back to the slums anyways. What do you think, my man? Don't this monster make you all tingly? I'm looking for parts to build a wagon, so I've got this favor to ask you. A favor? I see. 
So you're trying to build a flower wagon for this heiress girl. Tell you what, my good man, you can have these. Nice. Those tires can withstand speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. They're precious to me, but I'm venturing on your success. Thanks, dude. Oh, hey, big guy. Wow, you found tires. That's great. I see the instructions. I mean, who'd know how to build a wagon without instructions, right? Hehehe. <laughs> and I've already got a book with instructions with me. What are you looking at me like that for? I didn't steal it. Uh, where did it go? Oh no, I don't have it. I put it in my carrying case because I knew it was important. What kind of carry? Oh, what kind? <laughs> what kind of carrying case? A Shinra army mask. I picked it up in the slums. A Shinra army mask. I remember seeing one recently. Hey, maybe you accidentally dropped it in. He's gone already. Back to the slums we go. Okay, so I need to look at my inventory. Because I have something that I got from a mission that I thought would... Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was this. Design specifications for the lunch cart used in the Shinra, inside the Shinra building. Now we could use that to make the flower cart, but I guess not. Craftsman Monthly. This thing too, I have this too. You would think this would come in handy. I don't know. I have way too much things in my inventory. It's, it's hard to keep track of everything. All right, go back to the slums. Let's see if we could find this Wu Tai spy, as well as build this uh, this flower cart for Aerith. Uh, where was the train station again? Uh, this way, right? Gosh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. What did I even have for breakfast? Okay, back in the slums. So this guy's dressed in Shinra gear, but I, I talked to him a few times before last time. Ah, you're... Oh, nothing, sir. I'm a Shinra infantryman on patrol. How are you now? All clear, soldier, sir. What's this guy want? I wish he wouldn't talk to me. Oh, shoot, I think we're on to something. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's because of guys like him that we lost so many of our own. Oh, you just exposed yourself. Well, that's him thinking out loud. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Zack here. I found a Utai spy. You're not going anywhere. Look how fast he changed. There you are, dirty spy. I knew we could count on you, Zack. Currently interrogating the Wutai spy about the remnants. If he drops any clues as to their location, that equals a mission for us. Here's some information on the third spy. This one seems to have made off with classified information by sneaking onto the soldier floor. Huh. Based on how brazen he is, he could be disguised as someone who has business with Shinra. The soldier floor. Oh, so that's back at the Shinra building. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Alright, sorry. Got sidetracked. Also thinking about food <laughs> and what I'm gonna make for lunch. Don't worry, I'll, I'll still stream. I just need to prep something to eat.
Oh, it has to be this, right? This is where the helmet was. Did this mask be carrying a... Could be the carrying case that the kid was talking about? Hmm. There's something inside. Contained how to build a wagon. Ah, there it is. That's my carrying case. Oh, that's the boy. So this is where I dropped the mask. I'm sure glad you found it. Why did you put them in a thing like that? Because no one would think there is a treasure hidden inside a Shinra army mask. It's called Street Smarts, big guy. <laughs> okay. We got everything. Why don't we head on over to Eric's place? I'm going home. What? You're not coming along? Yeah, right. I know better than that. I'll leave the rest up to you. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's do this again. I'm sure you'll find more stuff if you look around all over Midgar. See ya! I guess I should go see Aerith. I bet she's waiting on me. 